What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a major update in the Trent Arcs Arnold contract situation because there has been multiple reports coming from England and Spain saying that Liverpool are offering Trent big big contract, he, Trent will become one of the highest paid players of Liverpool and they are reportedly offering him around the same wages that Mo Salah is earning 350,000 pounds a week but that could mean that Mo Salah is getting an even bigger pay rise um, but Real Madrid also made first contact with the agent or representatives of Tran Oxano so let me know how are you feeling about this how worried are you that Liverpool are going to lose Tran Oxano or are you confident that Liverpool will get Trent to sign a new contract how confident are you that Trent, Van Dijk and Salah will all sign new contracts at Liverpool? Let me know in the comments below. So in this video we will hear from uh, Fabrizio Mano and what he said about the latest uh, contract news around Trent Oxanod and also we will hear from Jamie Carragher himself as well because he weighed in on the situation. And Fabrizio Mano emphasized that the responsibility lies with Liverpool. They are the one, ones actively communicating with Trent Oxanod. So this is what Fabrizio Mano said said since March the situation has not changed. Real Madrid maintained their interest in the situation of Trent Oxfano. What I'm told is that today Real Madrid are not negotiating with Alexander Arnold. They are not discussing terms of a contract, salary or the project. We are not in the advanced stages of the story but in the interest of Real Madrid is something that has been mentioned for months. To see what's going to happen this summer depends on Liverpool because they have the priority and they are talking to Trent Alexano then we will see what they decide together. And there has been an article in the Mirror newspaper saying that a new deal is set to be offered to Trent Oxfanoud and the new contract for Trent would make him the highest paid player at Liverpool. The hope is that if Trent signs this new contract, that contract will last until 2030. So that could be a new five-year contract after this season finishes. And this uh, article says that Liverpool are unlikely to offer Trent the same wages as what uh, Mo Salah is earning. But I think we have to, if we want to keep Trent Oxfanoud, we have to offer him huge wages because uh, Real Madrid will offer Trent huge wages and any other big club interested in Trent Oxfanoud, they will offer, also offer Trent huge wages. And it's not necessarily about the money, it's about valuing Trent Oxfanoud and his contribution to Liverpool. Trent wants to be valued by Liverpool. Liverpool. He wants to feel that he is one of the most important players at the club and that means he wants to earn one of the biggest contracts at the club. And according to the quote offside news outlet, Real Madrid have started looking at alternatives if Trent Oxanot signs a new contract at Liverpool. Pedro Porro of Tottenham is Real Madrid's main target if Trent extends his stay at Liverpool. The report suggests that Real Madrid started preparing the groundwork to sign Porro to Real Madrid next summer with uh, the Spaniard seen as the perfect player to challenge Danny Carvajal at right back. I think that's a great scenario. Tottenham lose their best right back, uh, Poro goes to Real Madrid and Liverpool get to keep Trent Oxfanoud and uh, also Poro would command a 60 million pound transfer fee but that's still relatively cheap for a Premier League proven player who is as talented as Pedro Poro but of course Trent Oxfanoud I think Real Madrid would prefer to sign Trent on a free transfer but he would probably command a much bigger wage and much bigger signing bonus than Pedro Poro would and Jamie Carragher urged Trent Oxfanoud to sign a new contract and he said that he should embrace the change that uh, came with the new manager he said I enjoyed it that that I played under six managers at Liverpool. I had to adapt. I went from sort of the boot room to a Frenchman in Gerard Hulier coming in. He was part of France winning the World Cup. He was the technical director. He wasn't even coming in as a manager in his previous job. I don't think he would have been he would have been a manager for a few years. So the club took the plunge to go in a completely different direction and I embraced it. I embraced every change and I just thought it was a great chance an opportunity for me to learn and I always seemed to do pretty well. As soon as the new manager came in, uh, Gerard Ullier took a real shine to me 
The same with Rafa Benitez. I, so I saw it as an opportunity. To be honest, as a local player, and I don't know if Trent thinks like this or thinks the same as me, I didn't really have a bond with the manager as much as the other players did. It might be different with Trent, I suppose, because he had Jurgen Klopp for such a long time. I only had the Roy Evans for like a couple of years. And yeah, when, when Jamie Carragher made his debut in, 2000, uh, in 1997, Roy Evans was the manager. And then two years later, Gerard Ullier became the manager. He was at Liverpool six years. Then Rafa Benitez, he was uh, Carragher's manager for six years. And then Roy Hodgson and Ken Dalglish for one season each. Uh, Ken Dalglish for one and a half seasons. And then ba Brandon Rodgers managed uh, Carragher for the last two years of his career at Liverpool. And uh, Jamie Carragher said, when people say to me, playing for the manager, quote, I never played for any manager. I played for the club, Liverpool FC. That's the way I saw it, especially as a local player. I've been at the club since I was nine years old. So whoever the manager was, I was still going to give it everything. It wasn't a case of, you know, the manager could would ever lose me. He probably never had me. I went out every week, every day on the training pitch to give my best for Liverpool Football Club as a local player. So it didn't really affect me too much. Managerial changes, I just always wanted what was best for the club. And I think that's a class interview by Jamie Carragher. And he is convinced that Trenok Sanud would resign this past uh, summer, but uh, because that didn't happen because of the departure of Jurgen Klopp, now Jimmy Carragher is worried. He said the most important one to sign is Trent. Just because of the age factor and how much longevity you will get out of him as a player, as opposed to Trent Oxano, uh, uh, sorry, as opposed to Van Dijk or Salah, you may get a couple of years at maximum three or four good years out of them. I was very confident they would all sign at the end of our season in the summer. I'm not sure, so sure now. Just because I'm thinking about what it is the weight really, if I'm being totally honest. With Trent, I don't really know what the holdup would be. I'm sure Liverpool is going to make him one of the highest paid players, or maybe the highest paid player at the club and uh, also in the Premier League. That's where he should be. He's that great of a talent. It's just whether he's looking at posture new maybe. I think it's because of the new manager. There was a lot of change in the summer and Trent, Van Dijk, Salah, if they would have signed new contracts in the summer, they wouldn't have gained much. They would have lost a lot. If Arneslo did turned out to be a flop, which he clearly isn't, the touch would. Hopefully Liverpool will continue their great season. But Trent, Salah and Van Dijk wants to see, they want all want to see how Liverpool get on this season until like December and if Liverpool are doing really really well then they then they will be convinced that Liverpool are the place to be and they should stay and also it depends on what uh, kind of contract Liverpool offers them so that's a big big uh, factor in their decision making as well and reports originating from Spain today claim that Real Madrid are stepping up their interest in Trenor Oxmanwood Spanish uh, journalist Javier Rodriguez Pascual has written an article for Real level claiming that Trent has so far rejected various proposals put to him by Liverpool and as a result his future remains unclear. He also claims that Real Madrid has made, have made contact with Trent's camp several times to try and uh, see if there would be a possible transfer to Real Madrid but uh, we expect reports from the Spanish media to ramp up because Liverpool are playing Real Madrid uh, quite soon in the Champions League and this journalist and this news outlet is a Real Madrid mouthpiece publishing an article that would of course make for positive reading for Real Madrid's fans the day after they lost uh, sho shockingly to Lille in the Champions League. The journalist is a Real Madrid palm mouthpiece who is writing for Relevo which is a website, a Spanish website, sports website based in Madrid as well. So they are basically Real Madrid mouthpieces and Relevo is main owned by Spanish media giant Grupo Vocento, one of the country's leading multimedia groups. And they are also based in Madrid. So there are a lot of ties to Madrid with this uh, article and with this journalist as well. Of course, uh, you can't dismiss the idea of Trent going to Real Madrid, but take this with a pinch of salt, for sure. And another news outlet is claiming that so far, Liverpool are the only club uh, who Trent Oxanot spoke to about his future, but there are emerging interests coming from other clubs like Paris Saint-Germain and Bayern Munich. Imagine if there would be a bidding war on his contract on his wages by PSG, Bayern Munich and Real Madrid. 
Liverpool won't be able to compete with that. Liverpool are a rich club, but we are not as rich as Paris Saint-Germain. We are not as rich as Real Madrid. We really need to convince Trenox Arnold both uh, with a huge contract and also both uh, to promise him that he will be the captain of Liverpool and he will be one of the most important, one of the biggest players at Liverpool when Van Dijk and Salah leaves after this season or in the next two or three years. Then Trenox Arnold will be our biggest player and our biggest star and make him the biggest star. Show him that Liverpool want to make him the biggest star with his contract as well. That's my opinion. Let me know what is yours in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a nice day. See you later. Goodbye.